Can you use the same torque wrench for lug nuts and axle nuts for bearings? Well, we're going to find out next. This video is sponsored by BCA Bearings, the number one supplier of OE quality hub assemblies. Visit BCABearings.com for more information. Chances are, if you work at a tire store, you have community torque wrenches. These are at the shop for tightening down lug nuts for customers' vehicles after the tires have been replaced. These should be calibrated every six months because the propensity for someone to drop it is very high and throw off the calibration. But for axle nuts on wheel bearings, you need to use a special torque wrench or a designated torque wrench to tighten down that axle nut. So why does the torque on the axle nut need to be so precise? Well, you're setting the geometry of the rolling elements and the outer race of that wheel bearing. In other words, the preload. If it's not set properly, well, you're going to have premature bearing wear and it's going to fail a lot sooner than it would naturally. So to make sure that you're tightening down that axle nut to the precise torque specification, make sure your torque wrench is properly calibrated. Typically, if it's your own personal torque wrench, it should be calibrated annually. Also, make sure you're following the manufacturer's recommendations for the tightening sequence. It can be different for different manufacturers and also the torque spec can be a lot different. Anywhere from 95 foot-pounds all the way up to 250 foot-pounds depending on the application. So make sure you're using the right torque wrench for lug nuts and axle nuts. No matter the torque wrench, make sure you're winding it down to the lowest setting at the end of the day to make sure you're not throwing off the calibration on that torque wrench. Because if you leave it the highest, chances are the spring inside will become stretched out and you won't get a proper torque reading. I'm Andrew Markell. Thank you very much. 